Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I thought I'd show you guys the fruits of my labor over the past few days. Uh, this project's taken me about a week, not obviously doing it like back to back, but just doing it a few discs a day. I finally got through everything on my NAS, moved it all over to MDisc. Uh, so this is actually, it's kind of crazy to think this little CD case contains pretty much the last three years of my video output that I've been putting on YouTube, as well as all my stock video. Pretty much all my video work is in this. So this is just a regular CD case I picked up on Amazon. It's a 96 uh, CD case. And I'll show you guys what's on the inside are these M discs. Uh, so I did give it a little label, backup video, backup archive. And I also uh, just wrote in a permanent marker here because I imagine as if I stick with video, which I very much intend doing, um, I'm going to be filling up not just one of these, but uh, eventually many of them because the discs aren't that huge themselves. So basically, uh, these are my um, M discs that I burned off my NAS. Uh, going forward, this is going to be much easier because every time I fill up uh, 23 gigs, I can just burn one. This was a bit of a tedious process because I needed to go back through the entire everything on my NAS and export it in 23 gigabyte chunks and then burn a disc and then burn another disc. I'm currently not doing offsite physical offsite backup yet because all this stuff's on YouTube. Um, but if I wanted to do this to the next level, um, I would either buy an M-Disc duplicator, which I covered in a previous video. Those things do exist uh, offline. You don't need a computer. Or the slightly more labor intensive method would be just to, you burn one disc like this uh, stock. This was my, about half of my stock video library. Just burn it once and then burn it twice. Most uh, burning programs support that process. So you just, you know, take out that M disk, put in another one, burn another one, and then wherever you're storing that offsite, you can maybe post it out to a friend or whatever. Uh, so yeah, the good thing about M disks is that they are just regular optical media. Uh, if you've seen a CD or a DVD or a Blu-ray, they're all, to the best of my knowledge, the exact same form factor. Uh, these ones from Verbatim are uh, have the M disk logo, and they are writable on the front uh, with marker. And then this is what they look like on the back. You can see me here holding up my little gimbal. They're kind of dark, uh, so you should probably be a little bit careful and not, you know, being overly aggressive in handling that layer. And like most CD packs, this thing fits. I'm just gonna oh, I'll leave that guy. That was not, that was not the best. Um, and yeah, you can just take a regular permanent marker and write. So I'm currently labeling these like, for instance, this one is stock archive one. 180522 so that was like my first it's just hard to slot this guy in because i'm holding my gimbal with uh with one hand all right i'm gonna put this guy to the side and do this after the video so i basically um when i was doing this my first batch i just labeled them all like video backup and then the date i took the backup and these are 25 gigs why did i get the 25 gigs ones they also come in 50 and 100 i bought 25 just to um kind of hedge my bets in case they didn't work You've got video three, you've got my second half of my stock library, more finished video, more finished video. Uh, this was, as you can see, quite the process. Finish video three, finish video four, five, six. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing in the future is just saying like May video, because depending on how quickly it takes me to fill up a 20 uh, gigabyte um, M disk, it might take me one, two, or even three months. Uh, we go on, we go on, we go on. I put my wedding photos onto an M disk. I put my vlogs onto a separate M disk, and I think that's about as far as I am now. I just uh, recorded a bunch of footage at a conference, so I put that onto an M disk, and you can see I've still got like a decent chunk of storage here to fill up. So yeah, that's my current uh, M disk uh, archiving backup uh, methodology. It all fits into a transportable CD case. And I guess the nice thing is if you had a really fast, I don't, my internet uplink sucks, but because these things are so easy, I mean, you could put this guy into a backpack, pack your Blu-ray drive, go to somewhere with crazy fast internet and just upload M disk by M disk to the cloud. Like if you had a super, super fast internet connection, you could do this once every, I don't know, six months. And that would be another perfectly valid way of doing an offsite backup. So your onsite is your M disk and your offsite might be AWS or Backblaze or whatever. Hope that video is useful. Uh, another one on the old uh, the old M discs. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep tuned for more videos.